Oops. Oh, jeez. Excuse me, everyone. That's embarrassing. I didn't know I was alive yet. <laughs> Please don't anybody judge me. If there's anybody here. Ooh. Not, not good. Not, not good. Uh, okay, let's slowly get this ball rolling here. Slowly get the ball rolling as things start to get uh, underway. Uh, we are public. We are public as our privacy settings. Zero watching. Let's see if we can get some more folks in before we start to uh, talk products and what we got and all that good fun stuffs. Uh, and also our new exciting whiteboard or whiteboard sticker there in the background which how exciting is that so exciting things are changing rapidly here at wheats hq we got a fake whiteboard we got this pillowcase that says good vibes only with pineapples these shimmery little pineapple stickers i mean look at all of this fancy stuff all from the wheats producer saying get on it what's up wheats Thanks a lot for the Canico recommendations. That was a really good. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed them, man. Oh, Magic White Underwear. Nice new setup. Thank you. Yeah, we're uh, we're slowly uh, changing up Wheats HQ here, adding, uh, you know, adding some new features, uh, taking away some things. Uh, we got the shit emoji pillow there for whatever reason. Um, because who doesn't appreciate a good shit emoji pillow? Uh, what high potency edible did you eat? Uh, I actually have not yet eaten it, but I'm about to do this, uh, beverage enhancer, beverage enhancer. Uh, it took me a long time to actually figure out what the name of this product is. Believe it or not, it is not an easy thing to track down. Uh, but with some Google foo, uh, and some uh, some diligence, I was able to figure out that the name of this product that is not listed anywhere, you can only see a C and then a beverage enhancer. Um, it is the Can Elixir, Can Elixir 250 milligrams of THC. I did a nice couple of dabs beforehand to get a little bit high, but I figured I'd go ahead and do this here uh, on, on air. I did do a Can Elixir review, which is not yet out. Um, they claim uh, to use it as a beverage enhancer. I did not do that. I just drank it straight and found it actually to be quite palatable. Um, it, at least the one I had before, tastes a lot like. Imagine if you took um, <laughs> tab on the haters. Oh, uh, uh, why do you use a pineapple as part of your logo before? By the way, uh, pineapples and weed just sort of seem to go hand in hand. Um, it's kind of everywhere. They're sort of ubiquitous, this idea of pineapples and weed. And we sort of embraced it here at Weeds HQ and went full pineapple. That's why we got pineapple upon pineapple upon pineapple. Oh, shit. One second. Almost forgot the most important pineapple piece. Whoops. And that is, of course, the color changing pineapple in the background. Uh, and now I'm all tangled up here. There we go. We're back. We're back. So, uh, r slash trees, baby. Happy Sunday. Yes, r slash trees. Thank you so much from anybody who coming stopping by from trees. Super, super appreciate it. As always, all my Trees fans out there. Guys, we are having some technical difficulties. All my fault here. Got to get the aux cord back in. All right, we're back on track. We are back on track. So, guys, let's just start off the process here by taking a little uh, of this beverage enhancer, this can elixir beverage enhancer, watermelon flavor uh, it's really smudged at the bottom i can't really tell i think it's watermelon flavor i think i had the cali punch last time and it tastes really good it basically tastes like if you took snow cone syrup and just drink the syrup so it's really 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 super sweet um 
But, uh, oh, I'm supposed to shake well first. Let's get that shake well action going. Oh, yeah. Shaking well. Pop on the top. Better than cannabis syrup? Uh, I would say it is not necessarily better than the cannabis syrup. It hits um, a little less hard than like the 200 milligram cannabis syrup, even though it says it's 250 milligrams. But I was pleasantly surprised with it. Uh, generally, what you get with these uh, like shitty packaging is shitty products. But uh, the one I had pleasantly surprised me, uh, which you'll see in the review when it comes out later. Uh, I was pretty pleased with it. Uh, but it is more affordable. Uh, it's only 15 bucks for this uh, 250 milligram edible, which is cheaper than the 200 milligram Canico. So it's a, it's not a bad price. Uh, I, I I wouldn't hesitate to give it a uh, to give it a chance if you see one. Although I've only ever seen it at one dispensary ever. So you can kind of see in there the sort of deep red liquid. Uh, how was your first experience with cannabis? Great question. I will uh, let you know in just a second. Let's go ahead and take a nice big sip of this here. Ah, that's really not bad. That is, in terms of taste, it's a lot better than actually um, the cannabis syrup. It's a lot better in terms of taste of cannabis syrup. I just don't think it gets you quite as high. Again, this is a was a pleasant surprise for me. I was I was expecting a lot of bad things from it, um, but I've been nothing but pleased with it so far. All right, actually, I'm almost done with it. Let's go ahead and just finish it off right here. Nowhere near as thick. Much easier just to get down straight. Okay, uh, to answer your questions though, mix it with some iced tea, man. That isn't probably the best way to do it. Should have done it that way, but I was like. Live dangerously, you know? Let's just fucking go for it. Uh, yes, um, back to the questions from, uh, is it uh, Edison? Edison, we'll call you Edison. I like the last name. Um, what was my first experience with cannabis? My first experience with cannabis was uh, five years ago now, four years, I can't remember exactly. What had happened was I uh, had decided I was going to wait uh, to smoke weed before it was completely legal. I was going to wait until it was legal, and then I was going to do it. Uh, I was always excited to try weed, but I was, I was, I was a good boy. I was going to say, all right, I'll wait for it's legal. I'll wait for people to get their act together, and then I was going to do it. However, uh, I was banking on the fact that California was actually going to pass recreational the first time they voted on it many, many, many years ago, or not many, many years ago, five, four or five years ago or whatever. And when they voted it down, I thought, oh, well, that's it. I'm doomed. You know, there's no chance that there will ever be recreational weed available for anyone for any reason. Um, and uh, then I was like, uh, so might as well go ahead and do it because I'm never going to have the opportunity. Uh, so I had a buddy who was a big smoker. He came over, brought a bunch of weed. We smoked for, I smoked like three bowls, claimed I didn't feel anything, didn't really think I felt anything, and then said, all right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. And then about halfway through that bowl, it hit me all of a sudden like a sack of bricks. I And I realized, oh boy, I have entered another time, space, and dimension. Uh, at that point, I just went into the living room, uh, put on some community reruns, and just felt as if time were constantly skipping a beat like i was only experienced or i was only present for every other second it was i wouldn't say it was a panic inducing feeling uh it was an odd feeling it wasn't generally it wasn't necessarily a pleasant feeling excuse me but it wasn't um it wasn't making me panic or anything but i i i, I found it uh really um alluring i i liked it even though it was sort of disconcerting uh, so then, yeah, we were watching some community. I uh, was laughing more than uh, normal, as you might expect. And uh, eventually, um, you know, uh, got through it, went to bed, woke up the next day and was like, I have got to do this shit again. Uh, but yeah, it took me a while to realize that I was actually high. So I got very, very, very high for my first time, probably because I wasn't sure that I was high before and then kind of overdid it. Um, 
Uh, what was my worst experience with weed ever? Also a good question. My worst experience with weed ever is also one of my best experiences with weed ever. Um, <laughs> do I have a day job also? I'll get to that in just a second. Yes, I do. Uh, worst experience with weed ever was also a great one. It was going to a 4DX movie theater, which is one of those movie theaters where the seats rumble and they spray water in your face and they've got like lightning bolts and you're... Uh, you know, all kinds of crazy experiences going on. And uh, I went to one of those for my first time doing an edible, and it was outrageous. I thought I was going to die at different points. I thought, I remember turning to my uh, friend who was there with me and saying, man, if we make it through this, it's going to be like, it's going to be like, climbing Mount Everest and she turned back and she was like yeah or winning the Super Bowl and it felt like that it felt like man if we could make it through this it is gonna just feel awesome and we did we made it through uh, and now at the time I was terrified and I was like this is too crazy why am I doing this but now it's a super cherished memory for me um, oh, the first time you tried weed made you panic uh, even though I had frames heart palpitations Oh, man. Yes. Every, everybody's first time uh, is a different experience. Some people panic. Some people get too high. Some people go straight to bed. Uh, pleasant or wonderfully for me, it was a pretty good first experience. Um, you know, a couple moments of like, what is this? How long is this going to last? But overall, a very pleasant first experience for me. Uh, so the white man 800 asked, do I have a day job also? And if so, do they know about my YouTube channel? I do have a day job also. Uh, they do not know about my YouTube channel. I'm not sure if they would care or not. My day job is I am a science writer. I write about science uh, sort of from a journalistic perspective. I, I write about um, uh, mostly about traumatic brain injuries, actually, um, things involving uh, different experiences with the brain that uh, are not pleasant, like PTSD, TBIs, chronic traumatic encephalophy, encephalophil, encephal, however you say CTE, uh, all of that stuff. So yes, uh, I do have a day job. Uh, I, I really like my day job, but I prefer my uh, moonlighting job as a weed edible uh, review person even more. All right. So we've been talking for a while, guys, and we haven't even gotten into what the goodies that uh, we have picked up to show for you. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and get straight into it uh, and talk about what goodies we're going to have uh, to be reviewed coming up on some future Wheats episodes. I got some pretty cool stuff, if I do say so myself, coming up to talk about. Some pretty damn cool stuff. Some things I'm really excited about. Uh, some things where people have, uh, I know, two chocolate bars. Uh, my favorite strand or type of strand. Um breaking those stereotypes or you know trying to trying to break those stereotypes um because you know as we all know not everybody who smokes weed is uh you know an unproductive member of stereotype most people aren't most of them aren't okay so where to begin let's let's talk uh let's talk a zasp all right first thing we got here Zasp, highly refreshing, a new drink that we'll be reviewing. Uh, I found myself quite liking drinks. Uh, I know they're kind of a mixed bag. I've had some good experiences and bad experiences, but on the whole, I like the concept of drinks. I like uh, most of the drinks I've had, and uh, I just think it's a novel and fun way of consuming uh, cannabis. Um, generally, they, they do pretty well for me. Uh, as long as you stick away or stick away from the G drinks. Um, I've never had Zasp before. This is my first time with Zasp, so I'm not sure what to expect. But this is the Strawberry Lemonade, 240 milligrams of THC. The most potent uh, drink I have taken so far. This will be the most uh, potent edible drink I've done. Uh, and I will go ahead and just show it here. I got another Zasp as well. Another 240 milligram flavored, uh, this time the tangerine flavored Zasp. Uh, and these all cost 20 bucks at my dispensary. So 20 bucks for these 240 milligram drinks, which is a pretty good deal for a 240 milligram drink edible. 
Um, I've seen them more expensive than that before, for sure. Okay, um, then I got this really fancy looking chocolate bar here that I don't even know uh, how to necessarily pronounce the name of. Uh, Défoncé? Uh, Défonce? Défoncé? Somebody help me out here. Because uh, I'm going to need to know how to pronounce this before I do this review. This one comes highly recommended by the bud tender. Um, I say they love, love, love this product. It's a huge chocolate bar. It's very, very big. Mint flavored, uh, 180 milligrams of THC. Um, and uh, I believe it costs $18 at the dispensary. So, uh, uh, Defonce, is that it? Magic white underwear, is that it? Defonce? I hope so, um, if that is the case. I like the jury drinks, not bad. Uh, the white man, I have uh, reviewed two of the 100 milligram G, G drinks and really got nothing from it, but I did review one of their 210 milligram drinks and actually found it to be quite good. Uh, seemed to be way more than just twice as power potent as their 100 milligram drinks. So they've been sort of a mixed bag with me. Um, I didn't like the 100 milligrams, but I really enjoyed the 200 milligram one that I've had. So we got this coming up, guys. The Défoncé, if I said that right, Chocolatier Mint. That basically means smashed in French. Oh, I did not know that is what that meant. Okay, then we have a Hi-Fi new chocolate bar. Dark chocolate bar, 200 milligrams of THC. Pretty Pretty plain looking package here. Um, Hi-Fi bar, first time seeing these as well. Uh, the bud tender did not know much about them, so this is kind of a gamble for me. Uh, I generally tr do like the chocolate bars. I find the chocolate bars to be one of the better vessels for, uh, for THC. So I am looking forward to it, but I'm going in kind of blind, don't know a whole lot about the Hi-Fi bars. Um, okay. And then we've got this crazy thing, which I'm not actually even 100% sure what it is in here, what this thing is. It is the Moon uh, Mega Dose Chocolate Bars Cosmic Cappuccino, 250 milligram. Now, I don't, uh, I don't actually know what if it's like a wafer bar or a chocolate bar or what's in this package, kind of curious to figure out. Never heard of the Moon brand before as well. Uh, kind of cool packaging, interesting looking product. Um, and actually, um, I did uh, watch your reviews, love your vids, man. Thanks, dude. Uh, how do I feel about vape pens? I use vape pens uh, as sort of like a discreet way. If I'm just out about town, I'll definitely use vape pens. Not my primary way of getting high, but as like a little way of, uh, you know, taking something with me if I'm, you know, um, out walking around the town or something like that. They're perfect. Vape pens are perfect for those sort of situations. Uh, but they're not my first choice for getting high. So again, this is the Moon Mega Dose chocolate bars, cosmic cappuccino, and I fucked up a review. I actually reviewed one of these products or messed up a review of their Moon Berry Blasters, a different one of them. Um, unfortunately, my uh, Osmo did not have an SD card in it at the time and recorded nothing, uh, and I liked it. Uh, it was a very different product than this, but it was from the same brand, Moon, Moon Cosmic or Mega Dose Chocolate Bars. So I liked one thing they had before, uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to see how we're going to like this. Okay, uh, next up is uh, a new, uh, uh, for me, I love and hate vape pens because it's so convenient to use, but use it too quick, lol. Effects quickly and got to use it a lot. Yes, that is so true. Yeah, like uh, I feel like with the vape pens when I use them that I'm constantly using them because, you know, it's like it lasts for five minutes and then you feel like you've got to do it again. So it just feels like you're constantly um, having to like refresh. Um, dry herb vape is the way to go, man. I've never, uh, oh, I have a volcano. 
So that's uh, my favorite way of, of, of vaping is, uh, uh, is, is the volcano. If I'm, that's actually my favorite way of smoking, I guess, period. If I'm not, my second favorite way of doing uh, marijuana is behind edibles is through a volcano, dry herb, uh, for sure, that way. Uh, I love, 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 love the volcano. Uh, my favorite is edibles as well, but how did you get your tolerance so high, like in hundreds of milligrams? Uh, well, uh, probably because uh, I, this is like, I've done 125 reviews or something insane. Uh, at about that point, uh, anybody's tolerance starts to uh, really get pretty pretty uh, high like that. I, I wish my tolerance could uh, go back down. Um, I wish, yeah, 100 milligrams were still uh, enough to get me to the moon, but I've sort of shot it. But I can always take tolerance breaks, which I like I did recently, and uh, reset it and get back down to uh, a more reasonable level. But I actually like a slightly higher tolerance for doing these reviews, just so I have a good baseline, so I can kind of know um, exactly how good a product is based on the baseline of my tolerance level. So, uh, next product, a new syrup, or as they call it, an elixir, the chronic elixir, which contains 375 milligrams of THC. Jagar, what's up, man? How's it going, dude? Thanks for joining. Welcome. Uh, we'll talk about this in just a second. I'm going to answer that question real quick. What is the worst edible I've ever tried? Boy, I have tried some real stinkers out there. Uh, in terms of taste, um, there are a couple out there that I can go ahead and let you know. Uh, in terms of taste, the far and away the two worst tasting edibles I have had would be um, Kurova's Salted Caramel Blondie, it is truly revolting, uh, which is a shame because I love everything else Corova makes. Uh, and they, I mean, they're a great company. Their products are super potent. They're super tasty. But for some reason, they make this Salted Caramel Blondie, uh, and, um, and it's really bad. I mean, it's really gross. It just tastes so nasty. Uh, and then in terms of the other worst tasting edible I've had, would be definitely these enjoy enjoyable edible goldfish. I mean, they just had this incredibly disgusting taste to them. I mean, it tasted like uh, that sort of bile-ish taste when you're almost about to throw up and you have that burning acidic taste in your mouth. That's what they tasted like, awful. When I first tried Kiva, it ripped me apart. I had 150 milligram and ate the whole fucking edible just by accident because I was smoking and forgot to stop it for eating. Has that ever happened to me? It has happened to me. Uh, oh my god. Uh, yes, uh, I have accidentally eaten an edible while trying to, uh, or I finished an edible just because I got too hungry from getting munchies, which is always a huge, huge, huge mistake. Generally, once you uh, are on that path, Put your edible away so that you don't just accidentally eat the rest of it while you've got the munchies. Um, the KKK of edibles. Yes, Corova, Canico, and Kiva. Mm -mm -mm. All great. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, and Jagar asks, what's the highest I've ever been? The highest I've ever been to answer your question. I, I've answered this story before, but the highest I ever got was the very first time I made firecrackers. I, uh, I made firecrackers, which if you don't know, that's where you take your uh, like vaped bud that you've uh, made. Uh, like for me, it was from a bunch of Paxes. I had a ton, a ton of already vaped bud. Decided to make some firecrackers. Got out the uh, graham crackers, got up the Nutella, just layered in all the weed and um, put those bad boys in the oven, my partner and I. Uh, oops, there there goes that. Um, and uh, we ate those. We ate about half each. And oh my God. Um, I remember um, I went to go pick up food and it hit me just all of a sudden, just like that. Uh, grabbing food. I was waiting in line and I was thinking to myself, oh my God. If it's hitting me this hard, how hit hard is it hitting my partner? Uh, and um, boy, I uh, had to somehow make the arduous trip back home with the food. 
put the food on the counter, found my partner already passed out, uh, curled up in bed uh, next to the partner and uh, promptly fell asleep for the next like eight hours straight and then woke up and was still incredibly high. And yes, Newt get, did get hit by the picture, which is a pillowcase actually that says good vibes only. Um, thank you, Amazon, because it had pineapples on it. Uh, you tried making firecrackers once, put too much in, and like I know, need to decarb it and all that. Problem is I put too much. Yeah, uh, there's some pretty good tutorials out there on how to make firecrackers. I've gotten pretty good at it by now. I just um, use... Uh, Pretty much exclusively, I will use, um, oh shit, what, I just lost the name, um, the hazelnut spread, uh, whatever it's called, you know that stuff, and uh, Nutella, Nutella and graham crackers, wrap it tightly in aluminum foil, in the oven, 325 degrees, 22 minutes, boom, boom, good. For me, it was almost like an LSD trip at that point, but I fucking knocked out three hours in. Yes, I understand it being almost like uh, an LSD trip. It was for me. It was just everything was sort of spinning and hazy and going in and out of focus. It was it was a wild, wild experience on my uh, most high trip ever. Okay, sorry, I keep uh, getting distracted here. Chronic Elixir. I'm very excited about this. I've liked all the syrups I've reviewed before. This is the most potent one I've seen so far, uh, this Chronic Elixir. Uh, it has 375 milligrams of THC in here. Uh, watermelon flavored. Really excited about checking this out. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what to mint, mix this with. Maybe I'm going to mix it with the iced tea like uh, somebody had recommended earlier. Give that a go. See how that works out. Um, okay, and then uh, I have this thing, which I am really curious about. It is a the tiniest. It, it it feels it feels very crazy that somebody could spend fifteen dollars on this, which I did. I spent fifteen dollars on that thing. Uh, oh no, no, dude, you're not distracting me. What is uh What is your opinion on mer medical marijuana age? Should it be raised or lowered? I am okay with, oh, that's a, such a great question, Jagar, because I know that there are probably children out there that could definitely um, benefit from like CBD and stuff, uh, could definitely benefit from CBD medications. So I think, you know, in that case, it could be lowered uh, if it's genuinely helpful. But I, I, I don't know. I, I'd have to do some more research before I, uh, I really would uh, have a solid opinion one way or the other. But I, I guess I could see it from both sides. But yes, the thing that looked like eye drops is pure science, trip drip, blackberry, this tiny, 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 tiny little bottle. costs 15 bucks and apparently has... 200 milligrams of THC in there somehow. I have never seen a product anything like this. Uh, I'm super, super curious um, uh, about this. I'm really looking forward to giving this one a review because uh, it could go any number of ways. I've got a bad feeling it's not going to be great, but uh, I am super hopeful that it's going to be uh, something pretty wonderful. And then Ben asked, asked, what do you think about using lectin in edibles? I actually don't know uh, about using lectin in edibles. And uh, let me do a quick uh, Google here. Lectin edibles. Uh, increases absorption of THC and other cannabinoids into your cell membranes and speeds up the process. It doesn't technically make your oil more potent. I had not heard of that as a process, uh, but I think I have actually tried an edible using that before, uh, and it did work. It did uh, hit me more quickly, if that is in fact what it was, using lectin. Um, uh, would you ever consider eating a thousand milligram Corova Black Buyer bar by yourself as a challenge? Like, you could split it in half with a co-host, but I mean the whole thing, LOL. Uh, I already have. Uh, it's, on the, it's in the archives. If you search, let me see if I can't find the link for you, actually. I have done the, 
I've done the the thousand milligram challenge by myself. It was uh, it was quite the struggle. I know I've got it here. Give me just a second. And I will find the link for you because I know um, the archives are getting a little a little uh, long in the tooth at this point. But let's find it. Oh, excuse me. All right, where are you? Oh, here we are. I've got it. Let me just grab the actual linky link. Copy. Oops. Nope. That was paste. I want copy. Back here. And paste. There you go. Uh, would you ever cons um, do you ever think it, do you think it will ever be illegal for employers to test workers? No, unfortunately, I don't think it will ever be illegal for employers to test workers because employers generally have a whole lot of rights uh, and they're generally given a whole lot of leeway on to what they can you know say is unacceptable for them because I don't think. Um, smoking weed is ever going to be a protected class like, you know, age, race, gender, sexuality, whatever the case may be. Um, um, but I hope so. I hope they get to that point case, especially as it, as it's sort of more medicinal properties start to get known and uh, are sort of more recognized. Um, but, but, uh, as for right now, I do not think, uh, we're on that trajectory, unfortunately. And then Jankar asks, do you prefer edibles or bud oil? Edibles, number one, bud in the form of volcano, number two, dabs, number three, and then all other, just like smoking from a water pipe and everything else, number four and down. Um, what was the, what, what was 1000 milligrams, the highest dose you ever tried in an edible? That is true. Yes. I have never done more than a thousand milligrams in one go. Um, I don't think I could. Maybe, maybe sometime in the future I could uh, do more than a thousand milligrams before. Uh, oh, you yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, I am definitely getting stoned with you. This uh, this beverage enhancer is starting to hit me quite nicely. In fact, I am. You might even be able to tell from my slurred speech here that uh, I'm starting to get quite high. Oh, and uh, as to your earlier question, do you think uh, marijuana is considered a good replacement for pain medicine like opioids? There is zero reason not to try. Uh, I don't know for sure whether we can say yet whether it's going to be a permanent solution or a be all end all solution. Um, but I think there is no reason not to try because obviously we know definitively that weed is a lot better for you than opioids. And if we can wean people off opioids and get them on weed, perfect. So let's try it. Let's just try. If the results aren't perfect, no harm, no foul. Um, uh, what do I think of tinctures? Uh, I have never actually done a tincture exactly. I've done pills. I've done pills twice now. Hated them one time, did nothing for me. Really liked him the second time. Uh, look out for, I've got a Delta 9 pill review coming up, so look for that. I do anticipate doing some tincture reviews in the future, uh, uh, but I don't know. Uh, oh, you said they're horrible. Um, oh, dang. Um, that's no fun. Well, maybe I won't be trying tinctures, but uh, I did try capsules that I liked quite a bit recently, and I thought I would never like capsules because I only did the capsules that one time. And the white man asked, can you tell us what shop you went to? Yes, I can. Um, I've also started making a better point in my reviews as well. Guys, uh, they're not in my most recent reviews because I have a huge backlog. We're still just getting through this big backlog of reviews. Uh, but in my most recent reviews, which you probably won't see for like a month, um, in those ones and the most recent, I will let you know, I started letting you know what dispensary I picked stuff up from, but, uh, the stuff that I've been showing you right here come from two different dispensaries. Uh, one, uh, some of them come from, um, Bellflowers in Bellflower, uh, California, which is basically in Long Beach, California. Just make sure it's a really reputable brand. 
uh, if you decide to go with a tincture to review. That's a good point. I will certainly find what I was, whatever is considered the creme de la creme of tinctures before reviewing it, because I am still curious about them, and I like at least giving everything a, a fair shot. Um, so yes, uh, some of these came from Bellflowers in, uh, in Bellflower, California, and the others came from, let me find the name of the dispensary, because I really liked this one too. Uh, let me... Let me pull up the weed maps here, actually, and I'll give you the name of this this really nice dispensary I just came back from. Uh, I, I generally try to do a bunch of different dispensaries because I uh, most dispensaries only carry a certain a limited range of products, and I run out at dispensaries, so I am always going to new ones. Um, but uh, but yeah, this one I went to is really good. Um, what where where was it called? What is it here? I might just have to go through my... Uh, oh, First Choice Organics in Santa Ana, California. First Choice Organics. Uh, really great place. Uh, both of those dispensaries are pretty good. Um, I, you know, I've been to uh, some good dispensaries and some bad dispensaries in my day, but, uh, but the ones that I've been to recently are all pretty good. I used to be a pain patient because I uh, have chronic back pain. Sorry to hear that, man. That's no fun for anybody. Chronic back pain is uh, its just a terrible, terrible issue. And it's, uh, it's why it's called chronic. Uh, it's just not, uh, not a good situation to be in. No problem, dude. And, and as I said, the white man, uh, I will um, be doing a better job of including my actual dis the dispensary I purchased the product at in the reviews but those unfortunately will not be in the reviews uh, until later once the newer ones start to hit okay uh last two products uh because we already talked about the crazy looking pure science trip drip blackberry there oh no problem dude i'm always ha ha uh, happy to answer questions ask ask away it says uh, ask me anything right back there that's that's what it's there for um so yes, last two products, same brand, but one that I am super, 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 super stoked. Yes, we are. We are so fucking spoiled in SoCal, dude. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's Nirvana here for, uh, for, for us Edibles fans. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so... Uh, this these next two uh, same same product just different uh, or same brand different product come to me incredibly highly recommended. I have people asking me how have you not reviewed them yet? How have you not reviewed them yet? I had never heard of them, but I actually made a point to look for them to review them uh, because I've had so many people asking me to give them a review, and that is the uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Varavo 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 bars the dark chocolate chunks and the milk chocolate chunks 200 milligram uh yes so i've got these here they say one hour activation time on the back so less than normal uh i am super 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 pumped about these man um again i have had a lot of people telling me uh that they are the way to go. These are some of the best products on the market. So I've got high hopes coming into these. Uh, and have I ever tried Moon Rocks before? I have tried Moon Rocks, and I like Moon Rocks. It's it's a fun uh, it's a fun thing to do every now and then. I mean, it's uh, it's it's kind of a novelty. I think you know we dipped in hash and oil and all that fun stuff. Um, it's it's certainly a novelty, and not not the way I'm going to be spending my the majority of my weed money. Um, uh, but definitely a fun thing to do f every now and then, and especially you can sometimes get pretty good deals on Moon Rocks. I've I've uh, I've seen it as low as like um, some people selling it like you know as low as like thirty bucks a gram, which I know is expensive for Bud, but for ultra fancy Moon Rocks, it's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? The sativa strain makes you uh, makes you panic from the Moon Rocks. Well, that I mean, if any strain would do it, or if any you know kind would do it it would be moon rocks with all its accoutrement added in um so yeah uh i'm not too surprised it could uh could get you a little fucked up but uh but yeah i haven't actually done moon rocks in some time okay guys uh i think i'm going to let you determine 
which product I should review next. So, uh, what what should we be doing? What should we review? Uh, uh, you are correct. I am more. I, I am more of an indica man than a sativa man. I enjoy a good sativa for sure. I en definitely enjoy a good sativa, but uh, but definitely more of an indica man. Um, uh, hear a lot of commotion going on. I'm like, no, easy, easy, chill. Um, but yes, uh, I guess I just like uh, I like the relaxed feelings of the indica. I will. I'm gonna definitely try. Uh, definitely try a tincture. Uh, oh, is that how you say it? Is Varava? Is Ben S? Are you helping me pronounce that? Is that how you say it? Is Varava, and it's not. It's not Varavo. Varavo. I can't say it. Yeah, I will be giving that. I will definitely give you a review of uh, of a tincture. I will uh, next time I'm at a dispensary and they've got tinctures. I'll consult with the bud tender, see what one they recommend. And we will give it a review. We've reviewed a bunch of non-actual edibles. We've reviewed a lot of drinks. We've reviewed pills. We've reviewed uh, other things. Uh, what do you think about THC macaroons? I've never actually had uh, uh, THC macaroons. Oh, you want me to try? Oh, that's a good Ben S. Good. Yes, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I will. I will. I will do the um, Kev Gates. Welcome, man. Welcome to the party, dude. I will do the uh, Viravo next. Uh, I think I'll go with the milk chocolate and see how that hits me. Because, because guys, I'm going to definitely want to do it because uh, we're like T minus what? Two hours and 15 minutes till the big GOT finale? Who here in the, the, uh, who in the chat is going to be watching uh, Game of Thrones tonight? Anybody? Anybody out there ready for, uh, for a bloodbath? And if you are, who are you predicting not to make it through uh, through the episode? All right, that's what we will do. We will do the next review will be the Veraro Bar. Woot woot! Yes, I am. I, I know Magic White Underwear out there is super excited for for Game of Thrones. Uh, um, would you ever do a fifteen hundred milligram? Um, uh, I don't actually have any, I, I don't have a guitar. I have no ability to, uh, you know nothing, Jon Snow. Um, I don't have any, uh, I do have other hobbies. Uh, my primary other hobby is virtual reality. Uh, yes, I love VR. I, I'm a... I'm a huge fan of uh, of all this uh, fancy new VR tech, so I'm super into tech. Being into science writing, it doesn't probably probably isn't that big of a surprise. Um, but uh, but yeah, I I love me some uh, I love me some tech. Uh, other hobbies, I'm super into dogs. I know that's a weird thing to say as a hobby. I mean, I got like one right there. There's one right under my feet right now. Love playing dog frisbee. You probably, uh, how is it in virtual reality high? It is trippy as fuck, dude. It is incredible. Uh, you've got to try some um, uh, Universe Simulator 2 while blazed off your ass. It is a magical, otherworldly, transportative experience. Um, but yeah, also love dogs. Playing with dogs, hanging out with dogs, talking about dogs, throwing frisbees at dogs, petting dogs, beating dogs. Just dogs. Because they're the best. I feel like... Yes, I did literally just saw it as I was... I've been watching uh, The Defenders. Um, I actually do not live in Huntington Beach. Uh, I live in Long Beach. I live very close to Huntington Beach. Uh, I take my dogs to Huntington Dog Beach every now and then. Uh, there's another dog beach in Long Beach that I take them to primarily, but we've been out to uh, Huntington Dog Beach quite a few times, and it's so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Long Beach Beach, unfortunately, is a little uh, little less than pristine. Uh, what were we just talking about right before that? Oh, oh, Disjointed, the new uh, Netflix show. Yeah, I just saw the trailer for it. I think it's the guy who does like all those crappy CBS shows like 
two and a half men and stuff, so that makes me less interested. But a weed show, that's kind of cool. And it's got Kathy Bates. She's funny. I like Kathy Bates. Oh, white men, are you uh, are you in Long Beach as well? Yeah, we've got a lot of Long Beach uh, listeners, actually, and viewers. There, there's, a, there's a big population of Long Beach Wheats fans out there. It's a great place to live if you're a, a fan of edibles. You got the Orange County. I live in L.A. and in New York City, back and forth, especially. Oh, nice. There are definitely no good beaches and no easy access to weed. I have been. I have been. Um, but, uh, I'll give it a shot, man. Thank you. I, yeah, I appreciate the recommendation. We've been watching The Defenders. I, uh, watched three of the four of the preceding shows. I gave up on that Iron Fist, which was boring as hell. The first three episodes of The Defenders are, uh, pretty dull. Uh, but, uh, it's starting to get better. Um, starting to get better. It's fun to watch the, you know, these guys beat up on people that we've been watching for a while. Uh, been to the NYC, love it, love it, love it. Uh, I guess I'm more of a West Coast guy than an East Coast guy. All to, you know, all said and done. Uh, I am ultimately from the Eastern Seaboard, uh, not from the actual coast, but from East Tennessee. So I'm from the East Side of the country. But uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna start the actual. Uh, Varavo review right now because I'm not situated to do so, but uh, I, that will be the next review that we do. Um, oh, sweet. Uh, I love shows that are made for stoners. I definitely... You can only vape it. Wow. Weird. Huh. I I, I did not know that that was a, a thing that you could only... That, that it was only only available in vape or vape form. So weird. Every state is a little bit different, is it not? Um. But uh, but yeah, I'll have to give that uh, that show disjointed a, a a chance. Vape oils and pills. That's all you can get in NYC for your recreation or not recreational. Um, uh, what part of Tennessee was I from? I was from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, East Tennessee. Uh, that is my home place. Not that I consider it home anymore, nor will I ever consider it home again. I did refill my candy. Thank you for noticing, Magic White Underwear. We now have peanut butter M&Ms and Skittles. And, guys, let's, let's have you guess. Let's have you guess. How many pounds of Skittles and how many pounds of M&Ms do you think that is right there? Why did I move out to California? Oh, those aren't runts. I, they look like runts. They do look like runts, Magic White Underwear, but they are Skittles. I can kind of see where you think those look like the banana runts when the yellows get close to them. Uh, no, it's not too personal at all. Um, uh, way more than that. It's so much more than that. It's like five pounds and four pounds or something. It's just, it's not as much as you would think. It just takes way, 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 way more to fill those up. I bought a bunch thinking, oh, I'm going to fill these things up. Not even close. Not even close. We're going to have to get some more. Four pounds of diabetes. Yes. No kidding. But delicious, delicious diabetes. Uh, so why did I move out to California? Uh, my significant other's job um, moved her out to California. Um, uh, so I followed suit. I finished up my program I was working on in at the University of Tennessee and moved just uh, three months out here after her. We've been out here, she's been out here for two years. I've been out here for almost two years. Um, uh, Asheville is amazing. Yes, Asheville is so cool. I actually just went to Asheville right before I moved out here. I mean, I've been to Asheville before, but as a goodbye trip to the south and to the or to the southeast, I went to Asheville. Got some great tacos, got some great food. Really, really like that trip. Um, 
But yeah, so uh, also wanted to move out here because uh, weed. And I like having access to legal, easy access weed. And then uh, when I got out here, I discovered I loved edibles more than anything else in the world. Um, what did I study again in Tennessee? Uh, I have uh, my bachelor's in, um, uh, or, or, or I have a, uh, I have master's in journalism at the University of Tennessee um, with a concentration in science writing. Um, meaning I write primarily about science. Right now I write primarily about um, brain injuries and the like. Uh, which is can be quite depressing, but uh, I am oh, I am definitely getting high now for sure. This uh, wherever I put this can elixir, here it is. Whew! This can elixir beverage enhancer. How that drink feels? Uh, it's starting to feel pretty good to be honest. It's starting to feel quite nice. Two hundred fifty milligrams down the hatch, you know, getting the red eyes. Oh, shit. Uh, so you are an educated motherfucker if you went to Columbia. Actually, my uh, good, good buddy just graduated from, uh, just got their nurse practitioner's license from Columbia, which is was really, really, really cool of her. Oh, Columbia College? Or is that the same thing as the Columbia I, I know in New York City? Like Columbia, uni like the Columbia? The, the Ivy League, I think Columbia's Ivy League, right? Congratulations, man. That's awesome. That is that is really impressive. That is super, super cool. Uh, I actually did not know it was, I thought it was Columbia University. I had no idea it was Columbia College. Uh, but yeah, my uh, a good buddy just graduated and got their nurse practitioner's license through their like uh, master's program there and uh, now work at... Uh, Oh, 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 I did not know that. So are you, uh, are you going to be getting your grad degree as well? Or are you, uh, are you done with just your bachelor's? And, uh, I've written a little bit about biology. What, uh, what made you, uh, want to study bio? I, I'm a, I'm a bio fan. Can I, t can you tell me how much brain damage I have from kickboxing since I was 15, 26 now? Uh, I would stop right now the white hundred, uh, the white man 800, uh, even people who have never actually experienced true concussions before, uh, even if you've never been concussed, if, as long as you have taken some kind of head blows, you're, uh, you are at an astronomically, astronomically, unbelievably higher risk for things like CTE, uh, and even things like PTSD, um, depression, um, um, mood disorders, uh, and not even just, we're not even just talking about chronic traumatic encephalopathy, I, which I, you would think I could still pronounce that, but I'm, now that I'm getting higher, I'm having more and more trouble pronouncing that word. Um, but uh, you are, I would, if you haven't already, I would stop. Um, uh, the more we study uh, brain injuries, and the more, especially the more we study brain injuries in in youth, even those who are in like pee wee football or you know pee wee wrestling, those kind of contact sports, the the sort of the more harrowing the findings uh, we uncover. Uh, it's not good. It it really is not good, dude. Um, I, I'm not trying to scare you or anything. It's just. Uh, our brains are very, very, very delicate things. They do not like being knocked around, and when they get knocked around, uh, those they they tend to uh, those those injuries those those things tend to uh, last and persist for some time. Again, not to scare you, and we're supposed to be talking about weed and fun things, not brain injuries. Brain injuries are scary and boring. I mean, not boring. And I don't mean to dismiss. I don't want to dismiss your 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 injuries either. Um, I just I was just hoping not to bum you or anybody else out. Guys, uh, speaking of bumming uh, myself out, you know what game I'm just playing right now? I've had it for like two months, and I know you guys are gonna be like, nerd alert! Oh shit! Sorry for scaring you. Go go see a doctor. Go see a neurologist really as soon as you can and see if uh, he can... Um, because there are things they can do for you, buddy. 
there are definitely things they can do for you if, in fact, you have signs of any kind of neurodegenerative damage. They can do things for you right now uh, to uh, to sort of help you out. And, and again, I don't want to I, I don't want to scare you, but at the same time, I don't want to not encourage you from getting yourself checked out because I think it is worth doing. Um, it is definitely worth doing. Our brains, man, you don't want to fuck with your brains. You don't want to fuck with your brains. Except for smoking. Smoke! Hey, Kev Cave. Probably been asked, but just arrived. What's your all-time favorite edible? And if you could only eat one for the rest of your life, mine would have to be a Corova 3 or 5 dose. Kev Cave, that is an excellent question and one I certainly do not mind answering again. Uh, oh, uh, hold on one second, Kev Cave. Uh, you're an intern right now at UCLA studying anesthesiology. It isn't paid, but I need to have an internship for the career I want. Cool, 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 cool. I had a neighbor who was an anesthesiologist. Fun story, I'll tell you that in just a second about my anesthesiologist neighbor. Uh, anesthesiologists are awesome. You guys do great work, great, great work. Scary job. You have, uh, from what I understand, the highest medical malpractice insurance of any doctor out there, which I guess makes sense, but at the same time is crazy. Uh, back to Kev Gave's question before I get to my um, anesthesiologist story. My, uh, if I could only go with one, um, if I could only go with one edible company and manufacturer for the rest of my life, it would actually be Canico. Corova would be number two. Kev Cave, you are uh, Kevin Cave. You're right. Corova is amazing. Corova used to be my number one go-to uh, manufacturer for edibles, but they have in the past couple of months been supplanted by Canico. Canico isn't quite as ubiquitous as Corova. Um, um, but if you can find them, actually they're worth finding. They're worth looking at weed maps to find a place that carries them. They both taste better and they are both more potent in terms, at least I find them to be both better tasting and more potent at similar potencies uh, with the Canico. I, I think they're truly miracle workers out there. Have I ever thrown up from an edible? I have not. Knock on wood. No, never, ever, ever. Yeah, dude, I am sorry. Um, oh, good. I'm glad you have tried Canico. Uh, yes, and my favorite from them would probably be their like peanut butter fudge brownie. Mm -mm -mm. That would be, if I could only go with one, it would probably be that one right there. 250 milligrams. That would be my, that'd be my sweet spot forever. And I'm sorry about your chronic pain, man. And I'm so glad that you have weed and CBD out there to help you with that. And and, and hopefully it'll only get refined and we'll understand the science better and better and, and uh, can help manage with that stuff even more and more. Because you don't want to fuck with opiates. You, you don't want to mess with opiates. Nobody does. Oh, the first... Uh, how, how potent was the uh, first edible you tried there? Uh, um... Edison, was it uh, too too potent or I have come I wouldn't say close I felt a little nauseous I did feel a little nauseous if you refer back to my thousand milligram challenge video where I did it as like the thank you to all the ants and trees out there I did I will admit uh, at the end of that thousand milligrams I did feel a little nauseous I definitely felt a little queasy but I did not throw up I wouldn't say I came close to throwing up either but I definitely felt a little like, um, oh, do, 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 do. oh, it was because they tasted like shit. Oh yeah, I've come, I've definitely come closer from brownies that taste or edibles that taste like shit from making me throw up. And call back to Canico's uh, salted caramel or salted toffee blondie or whatever. Yuck. Um, two grams in each piece. Like two, one thousand milligrams. That would be insane. That would be insane. Put you straight in the hospital. I mean, not not that you would ever actually need to go to the hospital, but put you straight in bed. That's for goddamn sure. Um. So, uh, what were we? What were we talking about? We were talking a little bit about the Avengers. Oh, guys, I'm playing Final Fantasy 15 on the PlayStation 4 right now, and I'm having a hell of a good time. I'm uh, out there slaying beasts, killing monsters. Uh, anybody, anybody out there playing any cool video games right now? 
Guys, I'm really also really hoping uh, to start some uh, video games, some like pickup groups with, with some Weeds fans. Kappa and I, oh, I don't think is watching on this stream. Oops, sorry for hitting the mic there. I think about maybe picking up some PUBG, some Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. But if any of you guys out there are feeling like Fortnite, love that game. Cannot stop playing it. Really wish I could stop playing it because I'm hitting a brick wall because I don't have anybody else to play with. But still really liking it. And uh, I'm uh, having this wonderful nostalgia trip on this Final Fantasy 15 game. I haven't played a Final Fantasy 15. I haven't played a Final Fantasy game since like high school. So it's kind of nice getting back into that whole like you know goofy jrpg weird shit i mean it's so weird a uh, huge fallout series binge right now when stone finish all four but working through it now hell yes kev gate also a huge fallout fan only really three new vegas and four never played the original pc games but you know what i'm super excited for fallout 4 vr this fall on the vive super 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 excited that we're going to get Fallout 4 in VR. Could not be more excited. Um, yes, I know uh, the, the first time you do an edible, it's always going to seem stronger than it is, and uh, you're always in risk of getting, um, of greening out, as it were. Uh, but I have not come to, uh, yes! Oh, you didn't know Kevin Cave? Yeah, uh, do a quick Google search. This fall, uh, Bethesda is releasing a VR version, and you have to pay separately, unfortunately. It's, it's like a separate product, but they're doing uh, a Fallout 4 VR version exclusively for the Vive. And I got my Vive right here, ready to go, son. I'm going to plunk this bad boy on, and I am ready to kill some super mutants. Give it to me. Give it to me. How often do I cons <laughs> how often do I consume edibles daily? Uh, close to daily. So I would say very close to daily. Yeah. Uh, sometimes even more than once a day, uh, but but primarily daily. It's my it's my mm, excuse me excuse me my main way of uh, ingesting edibles. Uh, Kev Gates, you're gonna have to come over and play some VR, bro. I've got two headsets. I've got an Oculus and a uh, and a, a a Vive. This is the Dreamatorium in here. Look, look at all these cameras we've got set up. Look, we've got an Oculus camera there, an Oculus camera there, a VR uh, Vive Lighthouse there, a Vive Lighthouse there. We are rocking and rolling. We are ready for VR here. We are ready for some VR. I am so hyped right now, too, for VR. I, I am, could not be more hyped for Fallout 4 VR. Yes, it is. Any recommendations for good munchies? Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a good question. Um, my favorite, what are some of my favorite high snacks? Uh, depends on the mood. I always like to have a good uh, a salty sweet combo. I gotta have a chip and a something sweet. Um, yep, I've definitely been there as well. One in the morning, one in the a.m., one in the p.m. Just like you when I'm not working. If I'm working, you know, I got other stuff to do. I gotta be productive. But yeah, I like the one in the a.m., the one in the p.m. model. Um, uh, so yes, for your munchies, go grab some gummy worms and um, get some gummy worms and some flaming Hot Munchies mix. That's, that, that's what I would get if I were you right now. Favorite cannabis quencher flavor? Probably the strawberry lemonade. Uh, curious, but where do I work? I uh, work in Long Beach. Uh, I actually work from home. I, I'm, I, I'm a freelance science writer. I write about science journalistic issues, particularly <clears throat> things relating to the brain. So I work from home, so uh, I don't have to go anywhere, uh, which is why I can mostly be here doing edibles all day. Um, makes that nice and easy, makes that work just well, just fine. Um, yeah. Uh, so we've, uh, we've gone through all the products we have. Uh, I think as we decided our next review is going to be one of these uh, Varavo var, var, bars. Uh, 
I think it shows up how to pronounce it on the back. Where is that? I saw it somewhere. Oh, there it is. That says Varavo. Varavo bar, I think. Guys, I am getting pretty high. Curious, you so savage. Have you ever kept an edible after opening it for longer than a day? Uh, yes, I have. I have definitely resealed up edibles where I've like eaten half and then will like put it in the Ziploc bag and eat the other half the next day. Usually totally fine. I don't find any like degraded potency or whatever. Just keep it sealed. I think you'll be fine. Uh, do those cannabis quenchers hit you quick? How is that? It's really good, but like how would you compare it to normal edibles? Uh, it, in terms of like potency, it sort of hits me at about the same, um, you know, same level as the others uh, uh, at equivalent strength, they might come on a little bit more quickly than some of the others. Like, uh, I would say that the drinks do come on uh, more quickly than some of the other edibles. Um, I would say even maybe substantially so. I, um, uh, I would... I I've seen before where I've seen drinks that claim that they come on after 15 minutes, uh, I've never had them come on that quickly before, um, but I have seen um, that, that claim being made before, um, but, uh, but I've never tried one of those uh, or, or, or experienced. Oh, yeah, you're high as hell right now, too. And what, what were you uh, munching on? I forget. A Corova, a three-dose Corova or a five-dose Corova? Whew, yeah, uh, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for the noise that's about to be. Uh, going down here, but I am gonna have to turn the AC on. It is getting a little toasty in here. Sorry for, because I'm sure this is gonna pick up some of that AC noise. But we'll turn it off in just a second after uh, after after it cools down just a bit. That right there, guys, is my dog. That's Newt, right there. She's done. She's kind of a cool dog. She's like, she's six, six and a half, something like that. Oh, man, I'm high. Woo! Okay. Uh, Game of Thrones tonight. Guys, who is going to die on Game of Thrones tonight? Surely we've got some Game of Thrones fans out here. Uh, anybody big? Any any big names? Any, you know, anybody unexpected? I mean, Littlefinger's going to die. That's a given. Duh. Uh, Beric Dondarrion might die. Uh, oh, a half a Kiva bar. That's right. You're high as hell on a half a kiva. Nice. 90 milligrams and you're sk 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 sky high. S great, man. I wish I could still be at that point. I definitely wish I could still be at that point. Now I gotta do these 250 milligrams and, you know, I get uh, pretty high, but I wouldn't say that I'm sk 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 sky high here. Ooh, it smells good. Very fruity. Very, very fruity smelling. Um... Uh, well, guys, I actually think that is going to do it for this live session here on Wheats. Uh, I think we've gotten through all of these exciting products that we're going to be uh, reviewing in the future. We will be doing a... Uh, oh, guys, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Uh, get out there. Uh, get them subscribers going because tell your friends we're going to need some more subscribers because as soon as we hit the big 500 subscribers as soon as we hit 500 we'll be doing another 1000 milligram challenge um, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that it's super spaced out I, I hope in a good way I hope you're enjoying your super spaced out mind so again guys be sure to uh, be sure to tell a friend share some videos uh, let's get some more subscribers and, uh, and as soon as we hit the big 500 number, we'll do another live 500 milli or excuse me, 1,000 milligram challenge, and I'll put myself in the hospital for you guys. How does that sound? All right, well, that's going to do it for this live stream here on Wheats. Uh, it was amazing talking to you today as well. I appreciate you talking to me and appreciate all the questions. That's what I'm here for. Thank you so much for watching Wheats, guys. We will check you out on the next video. Peace.